it's ice cream time. So hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug is weird but cute, given to me by my daughter. Uh, this was a surprise coffee mug. Most of the mugs she gives me are surprises, but occasionally she gets me something that I expect. In our coffee mug is, well, I believe that's Stitch, right? <laughs> It's been a long time since I've eaten the movie. Don't come for me. Anyway, in the coffee mug is the Tea Well Organic Turmeric Spice. We've double bagged this. And um, yeah, we're, our temps have been low to mid 80s, but it's been cold in the house because everybody else is too hot. So they're turning on the AC and I'm freezing to death. <laughs> Wait, they all think I'm nuts. Let's go ahead and give this a sip so we can get started. Mm. Pretty close to what I was looking for for today, which was something that's warming and... Um, there are just some teas that are just really deeply fulfilling flavor-wise, wise. and this is this is one that uh, actually managed to do it. So today we're opening our September ice cream box. However, we did not do a full try on, and uh, we'll get more into it as we open the box in just a minute, and also when we talk about it at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, we didn't get into a full try. This whole thing did not go the way I expected to go. The look didn't go the way I expected to go. The box didn't go the way I expected to go. Now, so if you are interested in any of all of that, at a very short video on our unboxing, uh, just keep on watching. Both I and this box had timing today. Um, it's yard work day. <laughs> They're doing the yard work. So you might hear yard work related noises. And uh, I actually didn't think this was gonna come in until tomorrow, uh, but it came in on a filming day, so here we are. Now I know what the palette is in here because it was another one, choose your palette. And I definitely didn't want the neutral one. So I didn't get the neutral one. However, um, I'm not, I know the brand. I don't think I was quite impressed with it the last time I tried it. So I might be bringing in other stuff to bump up the palette in here, even though it's a larger palette. So, all warnings aside, let's go ahead and get into it. Get into it. My favorite box. Yes. All right, thank you. We hope you enjoy. As a subscriber, you're not just indulging in something that's uniquely yours. You're also becoming a part of a community that's bigger than just one person. We're like a close-knit group of kindred spirits bonded by our love for vivid colors and our shared devotion to makeup. Being a subscriber means celebrating your own natural beauty, feeling extraordinary, and giving yourself the space to express your authentic self without reservation. So there we go. Uh, information on the back. We're going to put that down so we don't see the information on the back. ZC is just this box. Um, um, the, one of the first things I see in here is from ZC. Um, so we might as well go ahead and grab that. Uh, because, you know, ZC is just this box. This is Paint Color Bright Eyeliner. <sighs> I don't want to fight these today. Where is my Where is my knife? Where did I put my knife? We are not fighting these today. We're going to try not to fight these today. As the knife doesn't even pull this up. <laughs> of course. It said no. I'm glad my products are safe, but damn. All right, so there's our box. This is 04. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> I could use it on the art if I can't use it on me. Uh, yellow is just not a color for me. Especially not, I mean, you know, yellow is one of those colors that I have to be careful with. I do beautiful things on the lid. 
All right, so not too surprising. The pencil itself looks like, you know, other pencils. Oh yeah, that's too light. That is definitely too light. It's got a nice shimmer, but uh, yeah, it's a roll up. This is gonna go upstairs in my, in my creators, in my craft kit, in my art kit. I shouldn't say craft kit, it's an art kit. What are you guys doing? Next we have from Illuminati. Oh, it's a tinted lip oil. I can do with that. That's, that's a color adjusting type lip oil. Obviously you have to use this over something. Again, open says me. They're keeping things safe. They're keeping things safe. All right, so I'm curious about this one. We have colorful makeup. Our first two products are practically no color. Uh, that's definitely just a tint. If that, uh, I guess, but it's a lip oil. It feels kind of sticky for a lip oil. Hmm. My favorite lip oil from e.l.f. is gone. And I love that lip oil. It was nice and slick. We have a big box. Ace Beauté Pout Perfect Liquid Lipstick. This is a really big box for a liquid lipstick. In the color Ambition, I'm assuming, which is brownish. A... Oh my God. Okay, I was not expecting that. I know Ace Beauté is um, supposedly rebranding. They've been trying to sell shit for a while now. I actually have liked Ace Beauté. I love their... This is astonishing. I love, <laughs> I love their palettes. They have great pigmentation. Damn, it's heavy. Wow. Okay. I do think this is going to be a little too orangey. Oh, but it feels nice and smooth. It's very matte. <sighs> Not the colors I was thinking of for today. I love this box, though. That packaging is beautiful. Beautiful! I like beautiful things. So I'm going to keep that box. That is just... That's neat! Once again, I'm collecting boxes. I started collecting boxes a long time ago. And then we moved. So I got rid of boxes. And now I'm collecting again. All right. Our next product is from Delancey, another product that seems to appear quite frequently in their, in their box. This is Multichrome Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, do your chrome, will your chromes help with what I wanna do today? Cause I have a whole color thing in my, no, well, maybe, no. <laughs> These are definitely not the colors. I think I've tried, wow. Okay, so this is really dark. When I look at it down here, it looks like it's brown. When it goes up in there, I can see green. The blue and the, the green at the bottom don't do much. All right, all right, I'll try the whole thing. Interesting. Oh, that one went gold. That blue doesn't seem to have much of a shift at all, but it's beautiful. And then that reddish brown doesn't go green on my skin. Of course it doesn't. Uh, it does beautiful things on the fingertips and that's it. Okay, all right, so this is from Moonslice Beauty. I think we all remember that I wasn't particularly impressed with Moonslice. It was okay. Uh, 
I believe both palettes ended up upstairs. At least one of them ended up upstairs. I may have given one to my daughter. I don't remember. Um, but, you know, Moon Slice Beauty. It's a different palette. This is their New Moon. Oh, she's pretty and she's dark and she's nothing like what I wanted to do. There's a lot of neutrals. What is it? This oh, we just okay. So we're focusing on golds, I guess. Maybe. How weird. Okay. I am thinking real hard. I'm having to rethink what I wanted to do. Yeah, kind of. I might be able to use a couple of these. Let's take a look at these. I already have one giving me issues. That's the shimmers. I don't know how I feel. I think I feel slightly annoyed. I am seriously debating just doing my original plan, which would not use any of these. I might be able to replace. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> wouldn't be able to replace anything. Um. Uh. This. This. Grabbing some mats. black did fairly well the others not the green the dark green is okay I don't know folks I don't know I, I think this is the first time I've ever been completely disappointed in an ice cream box ever y'all know I love ice cream I love their boxes this is Okay, so we have pretty much a no-shade eyeliner, a no-shade lip gloss, which is fine. That, that works. A brown lipstick. These are okay. They just aren't in the color story I was planning today. And the moon slice is, is, is what it is. I can see the moon slice going upstairs at this point. Anyway, let's, let's uh, take a look at the prices, and then I will go get myself set up so we can get ready for our enchanted forest no for an enchanted forest this this seam doesn't fit at all for enchanted forest you need more greens you need more blues um, you need um, brighter deeper colors deeper purples um, no a purple lipstick would have been amazeballs anyway uh, <laughs> um, and it would have redeemed the box for me at this point I can see why we have a few browns but none of the rest of this reads enchanted force to me I, okay anyway moon slice new moon palette 30 bucks I understand why it's 30 bucks I, I wouldn't pay that much for it because I wouldn't I wouldn't buy from this brand anymore in all honesty um, I hate to say that too 
you all know I love trying out new brands. I love giving brands a second chance at some point. I think this one was too close. They need to do something with their formulas before I'm impressed with this. So I would not spend $30 on that. I mean, I know I'm supposed to wait to the end to give you my opinion on the box, but at this point, I can already tell you my opinion on the box. Most of this shit does not... Let's see what I'm calling it. Names. So, so um... Allure Lip Gloss by Illuminati. This is 20 bucks. Again, I wouldn't spend that much. It's a very... It says it... It said on the thing it was a lip oil, and it's very sticky for a lip oil. Clear Gloss Illuminati with some gold glitter. So I can see this being an Enchanted Forest gold glitter, but I'll, I will try this today. I, I swear. Pout Perfect Liquid Lipstick by Ace Beauté. Love the packaging. Comfortable both, is both comfortable and pigmented. Fall in love with these fall shades we chose. The matte air whipped formula glides on easily and instantly to lock in color long lasting lightweight the packaging is also incredibly beautiful this is 18 uh, knowing ace Beauté, that price is about right for them would i spend that much on this lipstick no not in this color if they had given me a red a red would have been neat uh but this this um, orangey brown not so much and i don't think i'll be using that today unfortunately um, Multichrome Palette by Delonge, Delonge, excuse me, 22. It's Multichromes. I can see the pricing. Wouldn't, anyway. Collection of four beautifully enchanting Multichrome shades. Add some extra color to look with this beautiful palette. This palette was chosen to complement the other shades in the box. It is sparkly, buttery smooth. Apply with your fingertip or a flat brush for best results. These did not feel like bl brush applicable. They really didn't. They might be. I don't know if I can use it. I might be able to use one of the blues. Might be able to use one of the blues. We'll see. Um, and then the Champagne Twist Eyeliner with Sharpener from ZC24. Finish off your look with this golden eyeliner which contains a secret at the bottom. The metallic end opposite the cap is a removable. There is a sharpener. Uh, this is 24. No, I would not spend that much money on a eyeliner, and I most definitely cannot use this color. This will not, I mean, it doesn't even show up on my hand. It won't show, it, how? No. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rate the box now because I'm going to tell you right now, there's maybe two products in here that I will even attempt to use at this point. I'm going to go with my original idea, unfortunately, because this, this is disappointing. Nothing in this box thrills me. And I think for the first time, I'm going to give it a two. I know how these perform. I have had to Lancy before, have not really been impressed with their eyeshadows. I said I might try to use one. Maybe. I have plans. Um, this might be nice, but it won't fit my color scheme today. I can use the lip gloss. I'm very disappointed. This is, I think this is the first time I am really, truly disappointed in my ice cream box. These colors do not do anything for me. Um, I'm really disappointed, folks. <sighs> disappointed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get ready and do the rest of my face. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. We don't need to show all that. I've opened it. If I end up using one of these colors or something from one of the, you know. Yeah, none of these colors. None of these colors work. I have plans for a gold or a yellow, but this is too dark. And the others are mattes and they're too dark. There's too many neutrals in here. 
I, I don't see how this is an enchanted forest. I really don't. Okay. All right. So, um, I mean, to be fair, Moon Slice didn't pick the theme, but uh, honestly, uh, I'm just, I'm so surprised. I'm upset. So I'm sorry, folks. I am going to go ahead and uh, do my face. I'll let you know if I used anything. But don't be surprised if I don't. <laughs> we'll be back. I think I've said pretty much almost everything I'm going to say. Um, I'll let you know at the end of the video what I used, where I used it, how it worked out. I, I usually do the try-ons right in front of you. I don't think this is worth it because it might be one or two shades from one or both of the eye palettes. That's it. Oh, and the lip gloss. That, that'll be it. We can put the lip gloss on together. When I'm ready to talk about it, because this is disappointing. It's not disappointing enough to make me. No, this is just. I have other things to say, but I'm going to go finish my face. I'm going to go do my face. I'm just going to go do my face and then we'll talk about it because I could sit here right now and just. Yeah, so. Um. For me, it's going to be a few. For you, it's going to be like that. Alrighty, so this is the look. You didn't see me make it, but here's the look. Quick brief check. Uh, I did manage to use a few things from the box with mixed results. Um, I used the blue. I don't even know if you're going to see it. It's all in here. But I used the blue blue, not the not the blue green, the blue blue. It was very hard to come up. It didn't apply well. I think I had similar issues with a previous Delancey uh, a palette that I have, and I've never picked that one back up again. I don't imagine I'll be picking this one back up again. Of all of the colors in here, the most interesting one is probably this blue-green, and I have it in other palettes. I, I really do with better formulas. And considering the price for this, what was the price for this? I gotta go look. I mean, it's all supposed to be duochromes. 22. I guess it's not that bad. Uh, I did also use some of this uh, white to gold shift right under the brow, brow. I can talk. I had initially used a pink from another palette that I'll be showing you in a minute. But I used this, I used this to try to use some of the colors. Anyway. That actually did fairly well, but overall, I'm not impressed. I'm, I'm just not impressed. Uh, I also used, managed to use, uh, the black from the Moon Slice. I think it did very fairly well. It's here in the crease, and it did do a really nice line in all of that. Uh, however... I have said this repeatedly in the It's News. Um, I don't need another black. I've got a shit ton of blacks. So that the black worked is great. It didn't do anything for me. I am going to try to hang on this, hang on to this down here and see about giving it a try when I wasn't, when I have more of a mood for it. The biggest issue is going to be how many neutrals we have in here. This whole line and this in here and this is neutral. So we've got we've got five actual colors in here. One is a multi-chrome. A couple of them are multi-chromes. But um, yeah, this is not the type of palette that I'm it's primary neutrals and uh, I don't mind having a few neutrals in with my colors however I much prefer to have colors so um, I am going to be picking up the neutrals from Cosmic Brushes when it finally becomes available again uh, but I'll try folks I will try I will try but at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if this lands upstairs, either for my daughter or in my um, art kit. I also attempted to use the the Illuminati gloss. This is not a gloss. 
It did not gloss. I ended up having to pick out something else. Uh, basically, this went on and it started stripping color from my lips. It is too thick. It doesn't gloss. The, the, the shimmers that are supposed to be in there don't shimmer. It didn't do anything for me. They say it's, they said on the box it's a lip oil. This is not a lip oil. And um, I don't see myself keeping this either. I'm probably going to throw this out. I, this is useless to me. If it's going to strip the color off, then there's no point to it for me. Um, I don't generally wear glosses, clear glosses by themselves. I use them to shine things up when I'm, particularly when I'm wearing a matte lipstick because I don't like the feel of the matte on my lips and a gloss will kind of loosen that up and make it feel more comfortable. This does none of that. It just takes the color off and doesn't even leave much shine behind. So um, I, this whole box, anyway, uh, we'll get back into the box in a minute. I do intend to keep this, and I do intend to use it at some point. There are points where orangey reds is something, or orangey brownie or oranges, or whatever. Anyway, something along the orange tones is something I'm actually looking for. It just wasn't for today. Uh, so I do intend to use this sometime in the future. And from the way it felt on my hand, I don't think this is going to be a problem. It's, it's a lipstick. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. She says desperately. So I did use another Delancey product uh, from a previous box. That was this highlighter. It's on the inner corner of my eyes. Hopefully it's still there. It hasn't washed out. I don't know. You can barely see it on one side. <laughs> It is there. It is there. Uh, so overall, Delancey seems very hit or miss to me. Uh, the eyeshadows are a miss. This kind of reminds me of um, the way I felt about BH Cosmetics. They had great... They had great uh, lip products, uh, but their eyeshadows, once I got into using more eyeshadows and having a much more discerning eye about eyeshadows, their eyeshadows always struck me as being not that good. <laughs> for me, for me, I know there are people who have loved BH. They were disappointed when BH sort of disappeared out of existence. Apparently they're back. So if you love BH, go looking. Um, I don't know. Uh, they're not a brand I buy from anymore. They're not a brand I intend to buy from anymore. Um, I think they're now owned by one of the big corporates that buys a lot of makeup brands. So anyway, uh, but yeah, they're, Delancey's eyeshadows kind of remind me of that. And when you have good quality eyeshadows like in Nomad, Cosmic Brushes, um, I've got a few others. Blend Bunny, a number of other indie brands that are smaller brands. Um, I don't see why you should have to spend that kind of money on these because to me, they just don't have the quality. They don't have the pigmentation. And on top of that, when I used it, I don't, I don't know if you guys are going to see this. It started to seal up. So that's irritating too. Now that can happen to anybody. I've had uh, Nomad palettes start to seal up on me, but it is really, really irritating. It really is, especially on a high-priced brand. Uh, Nomad, yes, their palettes are $44 to $54, but you also get like 18 shades plus in those palettes. So four palettes for $22, I mean, four shades for $22, that is too much price and, and not enough quality. All right, so my overall, like I said, I think earlier I said, uh, my overall rating for this box is a two. Now, with that in mind, and I mean, none of these colors really work for me, except maybe for this, and that's very specific, very look specific. It would This would have worked really well on a couple of looks that I did recently, where I did the bright golden eyes and all of that. Um, it just didn't work for this one. Uh, but, um, 
I have kitties coming in from everywhere. Psylocke thinks Daddy is coming home. And she's right. She's always right. <laughs> That's just cool. Kitty's fed. Kitty's fed. Husband's doing his things. Let's 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 finish this review. Um, I hate to be so negative because y'all know I love this box. I hate to be so negative, and I do know this particular box does not have any um, uh, uh, profile that you fill out for colors and all that other stuff. It is supposed to be, honestly, as she noted in the card. A colorful box. Mm. This box did not fit the theme at all. This box does not fit me at all, really. Um, for me, Delancey is overpriced and Moon Slice Beauty is it's just... Neither one of these brands are brands that I would personally purchase from again. So, um... And the Illuminati, I, I, not a lip oil. I don't know what you would call this because it didn't gloss either. So overall, I'm very disappointed. It's a two. Uh, I did use pieces of it. Some of those pieces worked out very well. Some of them didn't. So I'm kind of glad I did go to my happy place. This look did not come out the way I wanted it, but I did use, um, you know, palettes that I love. I used the Nomad Ireland, which I think I've used on here um, in a get ready with me once, uh, at least twice before. And I used this gold color from here. I used the Cosmic Brushes uh, Winter Wonderland, where I used the purples basically. Um, the Nomad Fuji, I attempted to use the pink. It kind of got buried. I used a couple of Moira's um, Star Shows. These are all brands and, and products that I know will perform. I cannot say that about Moon Slice and Delancey, even though I've had three Moon Slice uh, uh, palettes at this point, and at least two of the Delancey. So, yeah, I'm very disappointed, even understanding that, uh, like I said, they do not curate the box for me. This box definitely was not for me. This is for somebody with either darker skin or lighter skin who can get away with these colors that literally blend into my skin. So, um... I mean, there's some nice colors in the Moon Slice, but like I pointed out, uh, there's five in here that are I consider actual colors, and the rest of them are neutrals. So nine of them are neutrals, and that is just too neutral heavy of a palette for me. So. I never would have purchased this palette to begin with or anything, just based on the color story, even if it had been a good product. So I'm just, I'm cranking and I'm, I'm repeating myself. I'm just really disappointed. Now, am I disappointed enough to not, to uh, cancel my subscription? No. This is like the first box that I've tanked. And <laughs> I'm really surprised because I think I've had the box for well over a year now. And I've had some that have fallen in the middle, but I don't have, I don't recall any that I've literally tanked on the review. Um, for me, for me, which I understand ice cream is not listening for me, it's not curating for me, but for me, if you're going to do something with a bunch of neutrals in it like this, um, make sure you have something in there that is much brighter <laughs> for this for those of us who are color girls uh, i mean it just th this really just needed it needed an oomph somewhere if they had put in another different quad with one that isn't all duochromes because y'all know how i feel about that too the whole thing is duochromes but uh also was brighter colors i mean enchanted forced we should have greens and the black worked, but purples and blues and, you know, bright. This works as a bright flash of, of you know, 
um, um, gold or light or sparkle uh, in the for this does not this 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 does not read enchanted force to me. So I think they picked the theme wrong, and that put up expectations that also doesn't help. So um, yeah, pick a better theme that's a little bit more accurate to what's in the box. And uh, uh, my other suggestion was would be to make sure there is something that's actually bright and colorful and um, for people like me who are really into that kind of thing. Especially if you're gonna load it up with neutrals because this is a very neutral heavy box. So that's gonna be disappointing to me regardless. Anyway, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna go ahead and take another sip of my tea. And then I'm going to get out of here. I have another It's New coming out for you guys soon. So I need to get that filmed up. Let's go ahead and get the tea out. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is very, very nice. That tastes so good. I'm also reminded that I'm hungry. I better get my filming done quickly. Anyway, I hope you, uh, well, this was kind of a negative Nancy uh, the video. Uh, I don't intentionally do that. I much prefer much more positive reviews, but I will always be honest with you guys, and you know that. So um, while I will say I hope you liked what you've seen, I, I, I would not be surprised if you were just like, wait a minute, two? <laughs> there was not a whole lot for me to like this time around but I hope you'll go ahead and share and subscribe and comment down below tell me what you thought of the box was there anything in the box that you would be interested in having and using and uh, in the meantime I love my girls I love my dragonettes hope you have a good one